Hi guys, so today we're going to be going over the new releases for this week. I have three new releases today as usual and they are all half sheets. So let's get into it. The first one is a kind of everyday uh, decorative sheet. It's kind of functional decorative. Um, how I do it is I usually consider functional sheets ones that have um, blank spaces for you to write in, like bills and flights, but just icons and stuff, even if they can be used functionally, I usually consider them um, decorative, or I guess images, not icons. Um, so this one has kind of a bunch of random stuff that you might use each week. So you have um, two big plan planner stickers, um, plan with me here, you have three bill dues, to shopping, to clean, to laundry, to watch TV. You have a bunch of out to breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner stickers, and then just your plain images without text are, um, you have a couple coffee cups, um, some more blank TVs, two cameras, and two laptops, and two bow clips. Um, so a lot of these are kind of bigger, so they are going to take up more space in your spread. Um, but I'm kind of thinking that you would use these mainly if you like spent a long time doing one of these things, like watch TV. You could use that if you like binge to show or something. So that way it would take up more space, like in your actual planner. Um, I haven't used any of these in my planner yet, but I might at some point. So that is the everyday sheet. Next is bill due, and this is all functional. It's just um, your classic bill due stickers in my rainbow color scheme that I do for all of my functional stickers. So um, you just have a space to write the amount that's due, and then you can write what it's for. I did not include a checkbox on these. Um, I think mostly because I use. Um, I do mostly memory planning, and so if I do a bill due, it's like a bill that I've already paid, um, so I don't like need to check off when I've paid it, and also because a lot of my bills are automatic and I don't have to like go in and physically pay them, um, but you can just, you know, leave a little bit of space for you to do a check mark when you've actually paid it. Um, I also don't think there would be tons of room left if I did like a little check box on the right hand side. There wouldn't be tons of room to write down what the bill is for, and I wanted to give people options for that. And I did want to keep these bill due strips really small because a lot of um, bill due strips that I've used in previous spreads that have actually come with the kit are a lot bigger. Let me kind of fast forward to the previous week because I think I did use a couple. Yeah, see, like there's one over here, and that, that takes up a lot of space. Um, and there's one down here. So those are all like two layer. So you have the the first um, kind of top half that you can write something and the second one you can write something and I wanted all the writing to be on just kind of one layer and then you have the little build due up above but that doesn't like take up a whole nother section. Like it doesn't make it big and bulky. I wanted these to be skinny little strips. So you do, of course, have the option to use anybody else's bill due stickers if you like the big ones, if you like having tons of space to write, but these are a skinny option if that's more your style. So that is the bill due sticker. Let me see how many you get. You get 24 stickers on this sheet. And then finally, we have my travel sticker sheet. Now I am using an, an oops sheet, so that's why that's there. Um, but this is just generic travel related. I do have a travel day character sticker sheet that is not in the shop yet, but I will add it pretty soon, I think. Um, but in the meantime, this is the one that I have. I'm flipping through my planner because I know that I have used a lot of these stickers before. So let me just go over the sheet first. Um, you do have your flight boxes in here. Now I know that there are a lot of other options out there for flight boxes where you can put um, the, the departing location and the arriving location and times for both. Um, and you could put down like flight number and all kinds of other details in there. 
but I wanted to keep mine really simple. I just wanted to put where I was going and I think what time the plane departs. So that's why I only have two spaces for there. So I would use one when I was going to the location, then I would use another one when I was coming back. Um, so that's kind of what these are used for. Again, I just wanted to have a simpler option than some of the other ones that I've seen out there. And then also on the sheet I have a bunch of script, so let me just kind of read through that. You have book flight, pack, catch a plane, work trip, girls trip, vacation, take a trip, ride to airport, buy tickets, check into a hotel, unpack, and then I think they all repeat. So there's two of each kind of sticker there. And then you have your images, so you have um, suitcases, you have a credit card in cash, cruise ship, hotel, two different camera options, passports, um, a compass, a plane, and a bus down here, and then a couple of them repeat. So you have two planes and two passport options, two suitcase options. So that is everything you get with this sheet. So let me try and find where I've used these in my actual planner. So um, I did a book flight one here and I used, hang on, let me zoom in. There we go. And I used the credit card and cash image behind that to um, symbolize that I was paying for the flight. Then, and I used the check into a hotel one here. I used both the script and I layered it over the image of the hotel behind it. And I think I've used it once more, or stickers, I've used stickers from the sheet once more in my monthly spread. So I did the vacation script up here, and then I did the catch a plane script and the image of the plane down here. So that is what these stickers look like in your actual planner spread. And that is all of the releases for this week. So as usual, these are all digital, printable only right now, but they will eventually be available as physical sheets. And there is a mailing list you can sign up for if you want to be notified when I do start selling physical sheets and, you know, just new releases in general and everything. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to like, comment, share, subscribe, the usual, that would be wonderful. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao!